हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सी ए करुण नागपाल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द वैल्यूएशन अप्रोचेस इन आवर लास्ट वीडियो वी डिस्कस द वैल्यूएशन प्रोसेस सो बेसिकली द वैल्यूएशन इज द प्रोसेस बाय विच वी डिटरमाइन द फोरकास्ट वी डू द फोरकास्ट ऑफ द फ्यूचर एंड वी अराइव एट एन एस्टिमेट सो दिस एस्टिमेट मे नॉट बी प्रिसाइज बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अ साइंस इट वेरीज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द सरकमस्टांसिस डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द नेचर ऑफ द बिजनेस एंड द पर्पज और रीजन फॉर विच वैल्यूएशन इज डन सो देर आर नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स विच इफेक्ट द वैल्यूएशन मे बी द फ्यूचर फोरकास्ट इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स and while doing the valuation we have to take care of a number of assumptions we have to rely on the number of assumptions which are required for the valuation and that should be realistic should not be vague and should not be unrealistic for valuation a number of valuation models have been devised over the time because of the complexity and the increasing importance of valuation however there are only three approach which are cost income and market approach in this video we will discuss about these three approach so let us start friends valuation approach is the methodology used to determine the fair value of an asset or a business valuation techniques are only three these are market approach income approach or whether we say it as a technique or approach they are three and there are n number of methods under these approach maybe you can devise your own method maybe you can combine uh, two methods and devise your own so valuation approach should be used in such a way that it maximize the use of observable inputs and minimize the use of unobservable inputs so what are observable and unobservable inputs you can watch my video on indias 113 uh, for now uh, let me explain to you observable inputs are uh, derived from the market data that means everybody outside world can see the inputs that you have used to arrive at your valuation so let us start with these approaches market approach so market approach is as it as the name suggest market approach that uses the price and other relevant information gen generated by the market transaction may be identical or comparable identical in in case you have you hold uh, the shares of tata motors and uh, somebody else so they both will arrive at the same value for the tata motors share because that is a listed uh, unit and uh, both will do the valuation at a same price because that that is derived from the market comparable in case some company is not listed on the stock market and you use the other peers or other similar nature of company to arrive at your valuation so that is compa comparing your company with the other comparing your stock with the other company income approach is a valuation approach that quantifies the npv of the future uh, benefits associated with the asset or a business so future benefits uh, which you can derive or discounted to arrive at the present values that, that is income approach and the cost approach is the cost to replace or reproduce the capacity of an asset so basically the cost approach is used in the intangibles and uh, most commonly approaches that we use are market approach and income approach so let us talk about each of these approach in detail friends as we have to use the market observable data to do our valuation so we will first start with the market approach and market approach is basically prices quoted on the stock exchange and in case that is not quoted on the stock exchange we can use the comparable companies to arrive at our valuation so in our example of tata motor since that is listed so whosoever holds the tata motor share will arrive at this same value in case uh, your company is not listed you can start with the listed peers and make some kind of adjustment to arrive at your valuation for the financial reporting purpose we have level 1 2 and 3 hierarchy that is although not relevant for uh, valuation as such but for 
the financial reporting for listed companies uh, there is a requirement to uh, classify your assets and liabilities into 1 2 and 3 and uh, level 1 2 and 3 level 1 where you have uh, quoted price level 2 you have make some kind of adjustment in the quoted or market observable data and level 3 is something where you have used your own uh, approach or technique to arrive at the valuation so under this market approach uh, first we will start with this approach in case you are unable to uh, use this approach or uh, you do not have comparables or you do not have multiples then you will move on to the next approach which is income approach so we have a number of methods so the first one is the directly the quoted uh, price of the stock exchange in case there is a volatility you will do the weighted average or the volume weighted average or in case your company is not listed you can start with the uh, market multi multiples derived from the uh, listed peers to arrive at your uh, non-listed company uh, valuation and uh, one can also use the comparable transaction multiple such as EBITDA multiple or industry multiple or PE multiple of that industry or a particular company if that is of similar nature to arrive at the valuation so if you are unable to use this approach then only we will move on to next approach or maybe we can arrive uh, at the value using the all the approach and then we will determine uh, what to do next and how to move forward so let us uh, move on to our next approach friends then we have income approach this approach convert the future amount to a discounted amount uh, in terms of present value so with that present value we can treat that as the fair value or uh, the value of an asset or a business so number of methods we have under the income approach most commonly uses the dcf uh, you might be familiar with the this approach so uh, the future expected cash flows are discounted using a certain discount rate which may be weighted average cost of capital to arrive at its present value that present value uh, will be treated as the value of an asset or a business so income capitalization the economic benefits which we can draw uh, we use the certain capitalization rate and we capitalize that the, uh, the profit or economic benefits to arrive at the value of an asset then for uh, intangible valuation we have uh, relief from royalty this is based upon the hypothetical royalty calculated as a percentage of revenue with or without method multi-period excess earning method distributor method so number of methods we used uh, for intangible valuation we will talk about these methods sometime later and uh, for derivative for option pricing also we have binomial and black and scholes model then finally we have the cost approach the amount that would be required currently to replace the service capacity of an asset is its value so commonly used to uh, value the acquired or internally generated intangible for example during the covid times companies were developing the uh, covid vaccine and uh, they, they in that case the market data was not available so they cannot use the market approach and uh, they were unsure about the future economic benefits future cash flow so they can't use the uh, income approach also in that case they have to stick to the cost approach because uh, they can easily ascertain whatever they have spent on developing the uh, infrastructure spend on developing the vaccine so in that case they have to stick to the cost approach so under the cost approach we have two method reproduction cost method and replacement cost method reproduction cost method involves valuing an asset based on the cost that market participants shall have to incur to create the replica of the asset whereas the replacement cost involved the value asset based on the based upon the market participant how much he has to incur to recreate the asset with the substantially the same utility that's all i have in my video friends i'll be coming up with the new videos till then stay tuned and take care thank you for watching my video